Hey guys, Kalila here, or Callie, and welcome back to my channel. Look at Onyx, she's so cute. But today is another vlog. I think it's crocheting vlog number nine. I could be wrong. Editing Callie, correct me please if I'm wrong. And today, well, this vlog is gonna have a bunch of days in them. I feel like I haven't done a vlog where like it's been a span of like days or a week. A week. It's gonna be like a week. So today I'm going to actually be separating out some yarn that my sisters and I have. Mainly me. I have over 100 balls of 24-7 cotton yarn. I know. I know. Please. I know that we just like a couple months ago we, we got rid of all our acrylic yarn and we had over 100 of that. I know. But I was obsessed with 24-7 cotton yarn, okay? So I just bought it and I always buy more than I need. And now I don't need any of it because I don't want any of it anymore. If you saw a head just pop up as my mom. <laughs> and I do not want them anymore because I literally just want to work with wool and wool only, alpaca only, mohair only. And I don't want to work with cotton again for now. Like I won't say I won't work with cotton again, but for now I do not want it. And now that I've started knitting, I do not like the way cotton feels on the needles. Oh my gosh, it's horrendous horrendous. I do not like it. So my sisters and I will be selling all of the yarn that we are not using, which like I said, is over a hundred. So I don't know if you guys will be able to catch it. I'll post it on my community tab when we post it on our site. But by the time you watch this, it would have been long over and probably long gone. Let me start sorting out all of the yarn and seeing what we have. All right. So we have some yarn in here. This is all of my yarn. <laughs> that I have of the 24-7 cotton. If you guys saw my Organize My Yarn video, you guys would have seen these. And there's also more. Mm, no, not in here. Wait, where's that? Oh, there's more of that yarn in here. Let me show you guys. Well, this is some hand-dyed yarn that I got from Knit Crates that I do not want anymore. So some people will be lucky and get those. But yeah, more 24-7 cotton yarn in here. And here is yarn, the Casey Element yarn that we used for our sweaters that we are not using anymore, will not ever use again. And here is some dishy yarn and some alpaca in here, mixed in here somewhere, some more alpaca. And we're just not gonna use these. Oh, and there's more in this box, some milk cotton yarn. There's some Lily and Sugar cream yarn. And then, like I said, these hand dyed yarns that I got in the boxes and I do not care for them. So giving it away to whoever wants them. So that is all the yarn that we'll be working with. separated out all of the bundles Malika. <laughs> all of the bundles for the 24 7 cotton yarn so now we're going to start packaging them up already just so that we know like what bundles well we have one bundle of like miscellaneous we'll just have that as a bundle on its own and so we're going to package all of them and then we're going to go on to the next yarns hello wow ac decided to pop on now we'll go on to the next set of yarns and i'll show you guys how much we have of that and how will we how we will be separating them hey 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 so far we have packaged up all of the 24 7 cotton yarn snowstorm yarn casey element yarn lily i'm uh, not let's say that little sugar and cream little sugar and cream yarn mm -hmm. milk cotton yarn and we still have dishy cotton to package up, the hand dyed yarn to package up. I don't even know if it's hand dyed yarn. It's just Hanks, a bunch of Hanks to package up. And then I think we'll be done. Let me show you what we have packaged up so far. So all of this right here, 
Then over here, we have packaged up all of these. Alrighty guys, I have not shown you guys much because I've just been weighing all the packages and making sure that we have everything accurate for when we put them on the website. Malika's going to do that now. She took all the pictures and I weighed all the packages. All of these, all of these. And so I will let you guys know on my community tab when everything goes live. Yes, I just snatched Malika's words, Mr. Bobbin. <laughs> I'll let you guys know on my community tab for those of you who don't have Instagram or don't follow me on Instagram and uh, that you should follow me on Instagram like what are you waiting for okay but I'll let you guys know on my discord as well and on Instagram of course that's where I'll announce everything so that everyone everywhere can be able to snatch up some yarn that we have not used most of the yarn that we have here are brand new have not been used for the ones that have been used, we put, we specify that it's yarn scraps and just like leftover yarn from our projects. But most of the things that we have, most of the yarn that we have, like before, are untouched and brand new, which is crazy, I guess, to some people. But it's normal for us because, listen, if we're not going to use it, we're, we're not going to use it. So it's not like we're giving away yarn that's like oh, well, you know, I could use it for this project. Like, no, we're not touching it. It hasn't been touched in some months now. So, hey, give it to people who want it and need it. So that's what we're going to do. I believe that's the end of the vlog for today. Not the vlog period, but just today's portion. So I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Hey, it is another day, obviously. It is so, so many days later, like, I don't know, a week, but I got some yarn. I was supposed to do this for a yarn haul, but I feel like I won't even have yarn coming in on time to make a yarn haul. So I'm like, let me just show you guys for the vlog because I'm excited. This is the yarn that I got. It is Drops, it is Drops Brushed Silk Alpaca and well it drops brushed alpaca silk wow i can't read and i'm so excited because i'm starting my louisiana sweater with this and i'm starting that sweater tonight with my sister kahila and mm, it's gonna be my first knitted sweater ever and i just i just want to show you guys the yarn i want to feel how it feels i've gotten br brushed silk brushed alpaca silk before in a lighter blue but like all colors feel different to me, so I want to show you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got 10 of them. I'll be double stranding it. And oh my gosh. Oh, alpaca. Alpaca is so soft. This is, what color is this? Does it say the color? No, it doesn't say the color. The dye lot is, I don't even know. <laughs> but it is a luxurious blend of brushed alpaca and mulberry silk. And it is 25 grams and 140 meters or 153 yards. And it contains 77% alpaca and 23% silk. It is so fluffy and so nice. It is an Aran weight yarn, I am pretty sure. Let me show you how thick it is. Focus, yes. How thick or thin, whatever. That is how it is. And I'll be double stranding it. I feel like it'll be good. I am just in love with this color. It is like a jean color. And this blue is just so cloudy. It's like a cloudy day. And I wish for those. I wish for cloudy days. We had like two cloudy days this week and I was in heaven. And then the sun decided to come back and I was like, crap. Because we rarely have cloudy days here in California or in Southern California. I don't know about the North. So this is the yarn I'm gonna use. I'm gonna double strand it. I am going to start on it tonight. So I'm gonna start on that video for tonight. Gosh, I'm filming so many videos today. And it's like, it's just crazy, but I'm excited. And I cannot wait, and I can't wait to show you guys the progress. And I'm also starting on the front panel of my birthday dress. I don't even know if I will end up finishing it. Sorry for all the noise from my chair. It creaks a lot, like an old house. But I don't know if I'll finish it in time for my birthday because I'll be starting my knit sweater, but I don't care. 
I just, I'm just glad I started crocheting. Again, I've been knitting like all week and I hadn't crocheted in a while. So crocheting was like a relief on my arms from knitting because they're like, wow, this is a workout. Okay, they weren't hurting or anything. It was just, just a lot. So I'm going back to knitting though. <laughs> And I, I will definitely crochet in this vlog though, so that I can show you guys the progress on my dress. And I don't know, I'll probably go to the park or something, maybe tomorrow, crochet there. I haven't done that in a while and I miss doing that. So yeah, I'm just glad I showed you guys my yarn because <laughs> I love it so much. I'm gonna be editing right now. It's a video for, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's for today because yesterday I didn't edit, but that's fine. It's it's short and nice, so I'm gonna edit that. I'll, look, I'll show you guys my whole process. You won't really see much, it's just gonna go like brrr. If you hear stuff in the background, it's because I'm watching a stream on my TV, so yeah. All right, here we go. guys my sisters and i are going to go to the park and just chill and crochet there we haven't done that in so long i feel like and we just need a breath of fresh air just to chill a little bit it's like the sun is setting and it's just a nice golden hour and just uh, it's just a perfect time to just crochet outside so we're going to go and walk there and chill for maybe an hour or so and just you know relax Alrighty guys, I am here with my sisters <laughs> and I'm actually going to be working on my birthday dress. My birthday is in six days. I'm not going to be finished with this in six days. I can be finished with it in like a day, but I'm actually working on another video, my knitting video, where I am about to, I was about to say crocheting, where I am knitting a sweater for the first time and I want to be done with this sweater in like a week so i'd rather spend those spend the next however many days finishing up the sweater i'm like almost done with the yoke and then i'll have to split for sleeves and do the body whatever if you're a crocheter you're probably like what but yeah i'm gonna do that so i'm gonna focus all my attention on that but i did want to just get a little of my birthday dress done just so that i can get some progress on it for a little bit and then mm, maybe I'll finish it after I finish my knit sweater so maybe some days after my birthday or maybe the day before my birthday who knows but yeah this will not be done but I will be doing some stuff on it that's it some more yarn I could have done a yarn haul but like I said I didn't think the yarn was gonna be coming in on time especially since a lot of the yarn I get comes from Europe so I can't really gauge when it will be coming in until it actually hits the United States which is usually after like a week so anyway more yarn came in this yarn is going to be for my novice sweater chunky edition by petite knit 
And I didn't get the yarn that was recommended. I got something else. And it is called Drops Melody. You guys know I love drops. So most of the yarn that I get is either drops or knitting for olive or hand dyed yarn. But I haven't used this one before. Focus, please. Thank you. It's called Drops Melody. And it's like this nice gray color. And believe it or not, it's actually a chunky yarn. And let me show you one strand. Like one strand is very, very thick compared to like, you probably can't really tell, but this is a very thick strand compared to let's say, mm, this alpaca silk right here. They're both alpaca, but this one has more, this one has, no, it doesn't have more alpaca in it. This one does. Okay, Amazon. But this is like a very thin, a very thin yarn. It's Aran weight though, but this is chunky. I don't know if you can see the difference with the strands. And then there's also mohair, which I got as well to go with this yarn. And you can really see the difference with the thickness of the mohair and the thickness of this chunky yarn and then the thickness of this yarn here. And if you can't tell, that's okay. This is lace weight, this is Aran weight, this is chunky. They're all fuzzy and nice, yes. But that's the difference. Either way, this is the yarn that I got for my Novice Sweater Chunky Edition. I'm working on knitting a sweater right now using brushed alpaca silk by Drops. And like, why am I doing this to myself? Why am I using fuzzy yarn for my first sweaters when that's like literally the worst kind of yarn to use as a beginner? But you know what? I'm going, I'm working through it and it's working. So I got eight balls of the Drops Melody. Since it's a thicker yarn, it has less per skein. So I had to get more of that. But I got this Drops Kid Silk Mohair. I have not gotten a color like this before and it is mm, so beautiful and I got six of these because mohair always comes with a lot of yardage per skein and so I'm going to combine these two colors together. Oh my gosh, it's going to give me such a nice gray. It's going to be like a silvery gray color. Oh, I'm so excited. But yeah, this is going to be the next sweater that I'm going to make. This is like the first time, well maybe not, but usually I just buy yarn and then I plan what I'm going to do with it later. But sometimes like recently I've been getting yarn for a project that I'm going to do instead of getting the yarn and then figuring out what I'm going to do. So this is for the Novice Sweater Chunky Edition. I'm so excited to do that. That'll be my second knit sweater that I create. And I don't know when I'll start that, probably in October because I have more plans this month for a different sweater. Now the next yarn that I got is hand dyed yarn from The Kinetic Knitter. Oh my gosh, her yarns are so beautiful. I got it custom ordered because she didn't have the quantity amount that I wanted. And I was like, custom, custom, I need, I need, I need a sweater quantity. She just had like one skein. I was like, I need like five <laughs> and I got five. Let me, let me show you. I got five skeins of this honey brown color. My sisters are so tired of me talking about a color like this because I every time I see a color like this from any indie dyer, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I need that. Oh my gosh, I need that. Like, I literally have one that's similar, like this brown color. Like, I love browns and like similar to this as well. Like these yellow, yellowish and brownish colors. Like, oh. I am obsessed, but let me tell you the specs. It is called Timeless Sock. It is 75-25, so 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. Perfect for socks if you want to make socks out of them, which I will not be making socks out of this beautiful yarn. I need the world to see it on my body. Like, this is going to be a sweater, by the way. And it is four ply, and it is 463 yards per 100 grams, okay? 463 yards. This is a steal. It is such a great quantity for this. Like, ah, oh, I love it. And it is called Honey Bear. So the Kinetic Knitter, let me show you the, I just want to show the label, camera, please. Let me block my face. Ah, oh, there we go. 
the kinetic knitter and then you can see the stuff on the back like just look at how rich this color is i am like as soon as i saw it on her instagram i was obsessed oh my gosh i i'm just obsessed with hand dyed yarn period but like this color like these earthy these earthy tones bro like i can't stay away but yeah this is all of the yarn that i got and that came in yesterday I don't think any other yarn, mm, I lied. I just got some yarn from Explore Knits. It's like a navy blue, no. Yeah, it's like a navy blue color. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys. Anyway, I'll probably show you in another vlog. And I think that's the end of this vlog. I'm sorry it's so short, but that's literally all I did during the week. This is like a week's worth of content in the vlog and like, I barely did anything because I've been filming other videos and then I have other projects that I'll show you in those videos and that's basically all I did and all I got all my acquisitions but thank you guys so much for watching this video be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and you haven't done so already like come on what are you doing go ahead subscribe join because we have a good time here I love sharing everything that I do with you guys everything that I get with you guys because a lot of you have been telling me that you love when you see my yarn acquisitions, you love seeing the projects that I'm working on, the projects that I plan on working on, because then it gives you guys inspiration and introduces you to new fibers and new patterns and people. And I'm just like, that's cool. I love that because I'll share it either way. But it's nice to know that you guys love that as well. So I'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye.